It's Treve, and welcome back to my little Bulgarian adventure. My name is Maximilian Seagrove. I'm taking over the show, and I'm only here to do the work that the old man doesn't want to do. Oi, Max, what you doing? Oh, uh, that's my cue. Suppose I could wait to get it be going. <laughs> And welcome back to our little Bulgarian adventure. Another week in Bulgaria. Yeah. Different this week though. Yeah, very different. As you've seen. <laughs> We've got there's three of us here now. Yep. I did my mad dash for England starting Saturday, finishing Sunday. Well, Crazy. Finishing Monday morning really. Well, in fairness, yeah. <laughs> it was about six o'clock in the morning when we got back, I think. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a journey I'm not in a hurry to do again. No. I think you ha you handled everything well till the till the night bus. The night bus wasn't pleasant, but um, yeah, this is this is the tale of our journey. Here we are at Varna Airport. Because of restrictions, we have to go in through the arrival section. Not a problem, um, as long as you know where you're going. But this is where the journey begins. Well, I've made it airside of Varna. Just got to wait for the gate to open so I can board the plane. But through customs, no problem. Through the COVID checks, no problem. All good. Here's the plane that's going to take me back to Liverpool. Well, I've made it to Liverpool. Quite an uneventful flight. We landed early. Um, here we are, straight through customs, no trouble at all. Uh, as I had no luggage to bring with me, it literally was walked straight off the plane, straight through customs, straight outside. And I'm out in less than five minutes. Back at my daughter's house in England. <clears throat> this is where I'm spending the night and picking Max up from. And this is what 5.30 in the morning looks like. There's our old garden shed and the caravan. And all the trees, you can see the sun is just making it over the top of the houses. This is the plane for the first leg of our journey home. It's a Lufthansa jet flying from Manchester into Munich. From there we fly to Sofia. Max and I have made it onto the plane at Manchester. Just waiting for takeoff. Um, fingers crossed, everything going according to plan. Should do. Should do. And here we are at Sofia Airport. We've uh, got off the plane, come through customs, come through border control. Max has had his passport stamped, and we're finally in Bulgaria. All we're going to do now is get to the bus station, catch our bus back to Varna, and then drive home. Yeah, so we've been settling Max in. Um, we've gone from needing one bedroom to needing two bedrooms. So we've lost our living room. This is the last time we'll be coming from this location. Yes, because this is now Max's bedroom. <laughs> and I don't think he'd appreciate us invading it every Friday. No. Yeah? To yep. do the video. He wasn't keen this week. <laughs> <laughs> we had to change it back. Said, we just moved all this. I, said, I know, but we'll just do the last one. Bit of consistency but yes uh, so we've been making the house more three people suitable and, and max friendly and max friendly yes like us he's not a big fan of the flyers so the fly screens have gone back up um we use the same ones mike as you yeah. had here we just put some new netting in yeah and I'm, i've max and i've built a door to go on the front of kind of a swinging screen door so um, and a cat flap for ziggy there will be a cat flap i haven't put that in yet but it's no. going in it's the last little bit <laughs> Um, yeah, so that, that's the sort of things we've been doing this week. Um, just easing him into it. We took him to Tiger Vishti. We did. Um, he's a fan of Tiger Vishti. Yeah, he liked that. Especially the food. 
Yes, so far that's been his highlight in Bulgaria, has been the food here. But Absolutely. it is lovely, the food is lovely and fresh. Yeah. And even the snack food, we had some little fish in the market and he liked those, didn't he? Absolutely. They're a bit like white bait, but they're yeah. lovely. So, um, that's, uh, that's about our week really. Um, yeah. Settling in, Max getting used to us again. <laughs> and suffering from hay fever slightly. A little bit, but it's all teething troubles, but we'll get past them. Yes, he's not a big fan of nature yet, is he? Not yet. No. But again, we'll get past that as well. <laughs> Hopefully. But he's quite a fan of working with you on construction. Yes, we have had some fun um, out there working on the construction. So That's the hay fever bikini. <laughs> yeah, if you could hear that. Um, the house renovations we've temporarily put on hold. Yeah. Um, just, just so we can get him settled in and establish some sort of routine. There's um, the other thing, but the only thing we didn't get when we were in the UK was Max's birth certificate. It arrived the day after I left. <laughs> it arrived the Monday morning, yeah, which was typical. So it would have been time for the Tuesday flight back. Mm. So, yeah, I think UK government's legalising document service is not running, if anybody is interested it's, in it is running, two but to three working slowly. days. It's yeah. running in about two seven to three to eight. working weeks. Yes, <laughs> I would say that was closer to the truth. <sighs> but uh, it, is, it is getting there. And we also found out when I came back that children of any age could have come in with me. Yeah, um, I didn't so have. Could have come back I could have come back on a Tuesday as planned, but they didn't change that till the Monday, so we did, not. didn't know. We had to take the risk and get him here. But it's all done now, so. And if we've got credit with Whiz Air now, we have. And so, if things ever return to some semblance of normality, we can whiz backwards and forwards as much as we like. <laughs> all get all get Kira out. That's the plan. And Angus, maybe. Kira, Angus. So Just let us know. Yeah. Samantha and the grandchildren are up with Kira this week. Yeah. So I hope they have a lovely week. Yeah. I mean, Mum's operation went okay. So. Yeah, she's at home and recovering well. <laughs> That's our updates for this week, isn't it, really? That is. Um, like we say, it's been a catch-up week. Um, it's been a lovely week. It has. It's been great to have Max back. <laughs> it's been great fun. Um, but you're, I'm sure you'll see more of him as weeks go on. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's he it, is well. the future. He is the future, yeah. <laughs> So, well, that's it from us then. Yeah, so Doskoro. Doskoro. And we'll see you next week. Take care. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. So, all in all, it's been a really positive week, hasn't it? It has. And um, we'll get back into our rhythm next week. The uh, house renovations have been temporarily stalled. Uh, stalled? What's stalled? I don't know what stalled is. <laughs> well, they have. They've temporarily stalled. Um, <laughs> We've gone as. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs>